who are the greatest of all time s in their respective fields and are still living. With Frederick Sanger sadly passed, I'd give the goat and white D. Adams. Head in the research to validate DNA testing methods for the FBI methods they still use today, first FBI agent to testify in a case using DNA evidence, and then went on to found the Forensic Science Institute at the University of Central Oklahoma to make forensic science an actual degree program rather than a subset that was figured out later in a scientist's career. Dude was basically one of the founders of modern forensic science in the US. Watch a video of Katie Ledecky in the Olympics against the best the world had to offer and you'll appreciate how much faster she is than any other woman swimmer. She's not just head and shoulders above everyone else, they're looking up at her knees. The Williams sisters in tennis are the same way. Venus Williams might be the best athlete in the history of women's sports if not for Serena. Simone Biles had basically broken the gymnastics scoring system at this point. Sven Kramer the guy's 37 years old just retired from speed skating. He dominated for 12 years speed skating. In the end speed skating became boring because you knew who'd win. And that's Sven Kramer. It went from awesome young guys winning, from well he is the greatest of all time, to I know who will win it's Sven so I don't need to watch the race. I lost one time but it was only because he made a mistake. Not because the other person was better. Tennis has a unique situation currently where the three main people in the GOAT debate Federer, Nadal, Djokovic are all living. Federer is recently retired, Nadal likely will in the near future, and Djokovic is still going strong. Very strong. In fact, Djokovic who is often debated as having the strongest claim to singular greatest is still playing so well he isn't just a living GOAT, but he's an active GOAT. Maybe a bit niche. But Raphael Weintroth Brown is probably the greatest non-classical cello player of our time. From his solo work to the other projects he's involved, I can't think of any other cellist that is exploring new paths for the instrument as widely, beautifully, and proficiently as this guy does. Link for the curious, check the entire thing out. Cycling. Eddie Merckx or the Cannibal. The man pretty much set the standard of road cycling for years. 11 Grand Tours. Three monuments in the hour record which stood for 28 years. Alongside some of the most iconic photos in cycling history search Merck's Ventura Roubaix. If you fancy an itch documentary, search for a Sunday in hell detailing the 1976 Paris Roubaix. When asked who won in the matchup, the 96 Bulls or 23 Nuggets, Michael Jordan said the Bulls would win by about 10 points. The interviewer asked why he thought the game would be so close. And Jordan said because we are all in our 60s now and not as good as we used to be. Let's get controversial. Tom Cruise, greatest movie star of all time. Nobody wants to admit it but I'm right. He's been carrying major blockbusters as an above the title name for over four decades. That's Gretzky level domination. When Steven Spielberg approached John Williams to compose for Schindler's List, the latter saw a cut of the film and said there are better composers for this than me. Spielberg replied, I know but they're all dead. I know this will be controversial, but plenty of people would argue because of his overall cultural impact, there's a case that Seinfeld is the GOAT stand-up comedian. Pryor might beat him out though depending on who you ask. I'm putting it out Jordan basketball player and Tom Brady. These are two guys who show the rare concentrated willpower and determination give that slight edge to elite status. Not only is he still alive, but he's currently playing. Shohei Otani. You don't have to like baseball. But just going to watch someone be the greatest at something is a rare thing. The last Nuremberg prosecutor was alive until a year or two ago. He was still sharp as a knife and gave talks every year about his experiences with seeing the Holocaust firsthand. John Jones, GSP, Silva, Mighty Mouse, and Fedor are considered the GOAT MMA fighters and all are still living to this day. John Jones has just won the heavyweight title this year too. Jimmy Carter is the greatest president of all time. If you disagree with his policies while president then I'd submit for the good he's done since leaving office. Tom Brady, and this is coming from a Bills fan who had to endure over almost two decades and two spankings per season, I can't stand him. But he really is a GOAT. Many would argue Tom Brady if Super Bowl wins are the goal to professional football and you look at the success of a team after he is not on a team. Weird Al Yankovic. He's the best parody songwriter, accordion player, Hawaiian shirt owner and makes the world's second best tuna melt sandwich. Fabio. Nobody else has graced the cover of romantic bodice ripping books like he has. The wet panties he leaves behind in his wake are legendary. Tony Hawk is, goat. Wayne Gretzky is, goat. LeBron? Goat, I'll catch heat for this one. 
I will say I have seen all of Jordan, Kobe, and Braun's careers. Dr. Lauren Seidmorn discovered using platinum-based chemo for testicular cancer. This resulted in cure rates jumping from bleak to over 95. A ton of sports goats are still living. A better question would have been who are still doing it. People like Messi, JBJ come to mind. Cristiano Ronaldo. He's going for 1,000 career goals while currently holding most career goals in history of the sport. Sachin Tindalgar. He is a really good cricket player, who plays for India. He had led India to end surreal match wins. Sophie Wilson. She played a major role in designing the ARM architecture a chip that is in nearly every smartphone. Joni Mitchell greatest singer-songwriter. Unless you think it's Dylan, and he's still around too. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Still playing snooker. Still winning tournaments. Holds numerous records. Goat. Joey Chestnut. He's in a league of his own. No competition, no reason to even try to keep up. Usain Bolt. MJ. Tiger. Tony Hawk. Simone Biles. Dolly Parton. Venus or Serena Williams. Tony Boo. MC Trials. The man's track record is literally spotless. I've never seen the like. I don't know who the greatest shit poster of all time is, but I'd wager they're still alive. Mark Zuckerberg. Goat of turning a hot or not side into a politically divisive juggernaut. As much as I love to hate him, Tom Brady has won more Super Bowls than any franchise. Travis Rice. Snowboarder he's like Gretzky Jordan Phelps Woods all rolled into one. Serena Williams and any of the men's tennis goats you support Novak, Rafa. Or Roger. I'm not a basketball or golf fan but I'd have to say Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods. I personally put Steven Erickson and Robin Hobb up there as fantasy authors. Cristiano Ronaldo Lionel Messi. Jeff Bezos. Michael Jordan LeBron James. Bale Fleck is the greatest banjo player of all time, and it's not close. Roy Ayers, jazz vibraphonist. Yes, it's subjective, but that's my take. The three tennis men goats Nadal, Federer. Djokovic plus Serena Williams. By the metrics used to determine tennis greatness, Novak is a goat. Hakuho, the goat in sumo. His achievements will never be eclipsed. Michelle Jordan. Tom Brady. Maynard James Keenan. Serena Williams. Tom Brady QB. Wayne Gretzky Hockey. Donald Trump con artist. Faker, but that's me nerding on a video game. Serena Williams? Mike Mullen invented junk bonds that financed Silicon Valley. Alexander Karelin. His greatness in wrestling is unparalleled. Magnus Carlsen. Or, if you believe Magnus, Gary Kasparov.